Removal is a randomized controlled trial in type 1 diabetes uh, where we're looking at metformin uh, as an adjunct therapy with insulin uh, to see primarily if there's any beneficial cardiovascular effects. Uh, it's not a cardiovascular outcome trial because the uh, you know, the size of the trial is 428 patients randomized and followed up for three years. So it was designed to look at atherosclerosis progression using carotid intima media thickness. Um, but we had a lot of metabolic outcomes um, and other safety outcomes as well. So um, we presented the main findings uh, a few weeks ago at ADA and published in Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology. Uh, we showed that of our are two atherosclerosis progression endpoints. One of them was positive, uh, which was the tertiary. Uh, the primary uh, was trending in the same direction, but wasn't statistically significant. So the possible signal of you know, re atherosclerosis re uh, reduction in progression. We also saw um, reduction in weight, which was sustained over three years. We saw a reduction in LDL, quite small, but sustained. Uh, and uh, we saw an improvement in EGFR, um, that we uh, played down a little bit uh, in the original publication because it was just based on site measured creatinine and we've now measured cystatin C centrally and confirmed that, that the um, creatinine decline is attenuated by about a mil per minute per, per year um, with metformin in type 1 diabetes. And, and we've also got microalbuminuria data that are very fresh but the preliminary analysis is, is showing a, a positive result. So. Uh, you know, these data are not yet published but have been presented at this meeting. Uh, so we, we've got lots of other data showing that the safety of metformin in type 1 diabetes. Uh, and we've also shown that you know, there's no particularly larger effect in obese patients. So current guidelines suggest that you, know, you should give metformin to people who have got BMI greater than 30 um, to help reduce their, their HbA1c and, and their insulin dose. But, it does reduce their weight, but not any more than it reduces anyone else's weight. So, you know, it's hard to sort of pick the exact patient for for metformin with type 1 diabetes, but it is safe and it has multiple small effects, which in the long term I think could be beneficial. Because um, we've studied people who had type 1 for 30 years, um, with very high cardiovascular risk, um, and we've only studied them for three years, and that's, a, that's still a very long trial in type 1 diabetes, because most type 1 diabetes trials are only six months or possibly extended to a year. Um, so we've only ever been one trial longer than removal, uh, which is the DCCT, which was done in the, in the 70s and 80s, that was a, a seven-year trial, which was then followed up post-randomization. And that's taught us most things that we know about type 1. But So removal we, you know, partly is important because it shows the feasibility of doing longer-term studies uh, you know, in type 1 diabetes. Actually, when we designed removal, uh, at the same time we were looking for funding to do a cardiovascular outcome trial with metformin in type 1 diabetes. Uh, but you know, that was even in the era before all the big cardiovascular outcome trials were happening in, in type 2. Uh, and at the time we, we met with a kind of um, slightly blank expressions from funders because they just didn't really know what we were getting at. And you know, I, th I think that there is a case for a, a cardiovascular outcome trial with metformin in type 1 diabetes. And it would actually be quite informative for type 2 diabetes because, um, you know, in type 2 diabetes, it's standard of care. There's hardly ever been placebo-controlled trials of metformin in type 2 diabetes. So, you know, if, if cardiovascular benefits could be shown in type 1, we would be more secure that type metformin should actually be, the, you know, the first-line therapy in type 2. Uh, but, uh, you know, at the moment, uh, the, the traction for adjunct therapy in type 1 diabetes is more with SGLT2 inhibitors. Um, so there's a number of small trials starting to demonstrate the safety of SGLT2 inhibitors in type 1 diabetes. Um, and so, you know, what we would like to see happening is perhaps if a company was to do a cardiovascular outcome trial um, of an SGLT2 inhibitor in type 1 diabetes, um, that they would do a factorial with metformin, given it's an inexpensive therapy. Um, so we, we're kind of advocating for that, uh, and, uh, you know, we'll sort of watch the space. And, and But in the meantime, I think patients will have to, you know, talk to doctors and, you know, just think about their own individual case and whether metformin could be of benefit to them. And, you know, one in eight people don't tolerate it because of gastrointestinal side effects, but, you know, the other seven could benefit.